<laughs> so Monica's being a bitch. So she is upset. And they're making even more Mortys. Oh. And look at her, yo. She does not look happy. Wow. We got new fans. She's not happy, I think. I don't know. For being spies. I love all the. I love all the van is still. Still damaged, you know? They're going to an airport. Wait, did they fly with them too? Where they're going. Oh. Oh, Same Same day flights. Yeah, they they're not wait. Oh right, Gory couldn't go because she's low on funds. But Haida went? My guy, that that's a little too excessive. You could have literally bumped into her right there and, and then and say, "Hey, what's going on, Resco?" But I guess well, any day, we it's just gonna be him. So how is Haida gonna get in there? Holy shit! So he wasn't able to get in there. <gasps> oh, I wonder what he's saying to her. It's not translated! What is he saying?! Oh! What brings you here? Why are you doing here? 
Peter! The ex-boyfriend! Yeah. Uh, dur. He got the feelings. <laughs> wow. You're amazing. I'm so glad you're here. Miss Red's I'm your biggest fan, and thank you very much. All right, who do we have next? This FaceTime. That's what they want. Really? This is such an awesome. <gasps> Why is she so freaked out by that? I guess she doesn't want both worlds to collide, but... Now you got a fanatic at your job! Creepy. It's like a magical girl transformation. <laughs> Obviously, for me, I think that not necessarily the pop idol thing. See, I don't think that life is for Resco. The fame, the glitter, all that good stuff. But I think the uh, the ideals of, of, of being able to be yourself and voicing yourself and voicing those angst, I think that's the real Resco. Um, I think it's all about conformity. It's all about being in your skin. And I feel like that's when she's the most, you know, alive, most appropriate, you know. I don't think she cares about having an arena full of fans, you know. I don't think that's what she cares about. I think she just cares where uh, she can be herself, I think. But then again, she's also caught up in that moment where she doesn't allow herself to be happy because she's still perceiving the opinions of what other people will think, you know, uh, what is the right thing, you know. It's like no matter what, she's still dictated by someone else's 
um, I don't know, goal or whatever, you know. You have the manager, you have Tone, you know, and Tone calls her calendar, and now you have this guy who's making her, forcing her to be a pop idol, you know. She still doesn't have a choice. That would be the precipice of, of this season, uh, to have uh, Rescue, uh, Rescue have that voice, you know, that aggressive voice that we always have. Or she has. What am I saying? <laughs> so, all right, that about wraps up my video. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>